again to us as that. So we will uh, invite the provincial commissioner to give the story of those six that have been arrested. Uh, I'm sure you have been making the call to say a person was in was in in video. Why is it not arrested and all that kind of stuff? Uh, the story is unlike evidence. What you see people still have to investigate. So to you, there was one person that was to be arrested. Six people have been arrested uh, that will appear in court on, on, on Thursday. It's one outstanding. Uh, as we have said, and the Special Provincial Commission, all of us, there have been things that have been done. Maybe that's the time to, ten, to tell the story. From us, National Office, is to congratulate the men and men in blue, one has just met the team that for last almost 40, 48 hours they did not, they, they did not sleep uh, to get the final uh, people since it would be explained that the uh, first person on the streets was arrested in April uh, last year. So, and you have been saying that is the thing, that story, and everybody denying. Maybe a uh, Lieutenant General in Kwanas Weapon, so Provincial Commissioner, will give us the path that the police have covered. But uh, the question, I'm sure, will come to an end. When are you arresting the killers of AK? And uh, I hope South Africans will have a better sleep after that. Thanks. Lucky. Thanks so much, Minister. And uh, greeting once more to all of you. Um, I'm going to be very brief with regard to the presentation that you're making this evening. There's a means of said, there's a total of six suspects that have been arrested and detained in connection with the murder of the two individuals, Mr. Uh, Keenan Forbes. Uh, also known as AKA, as well as Mr. Jabelo Motswane, uh, who is also known as TIPS. Uh, the incident that happened on the 10th of February in Florida, here in Devon. These six, they played different roles during the operation. We have a coordinator who is basically the master of everything, is in custody. We have um, two shooters that you also on on social media. We have um, two spotters that were part, one of the spotters was inside the restaurant observing and watching Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Forbes and, 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 his, and his friends as well as the organizer of firearms and vehicles because the vehicle used as a getaway, firearms that were used to shoot, they all hired. As I said, the six of them, uh, the spotter initially followed uh, the uh, Mr. Forbes from the airport on arrival all the way to the hotel as well as uh, to the restaurant where the incident happened and the, this person was also responsible for hiring gathering resources together the whole team together as well as the the rewards that came thereafter when when the people have done their job the payments that was done and the second suspect that we have is a person who supplied firearms and vehicles. And that person was also linked to other two murder cases, um, not, not these ones that, I, um, uh, that we're talking about. And the third one is a, it's a, sh it's a shooter who is linked to another murder case, another parallel murder case. We have another spotter that was just outside the restaurant was also linked to another case and we have a, another spotter who was outside wish who's linked to other two murder cases and we have a shooter also as a six person who's linked with another murder case in total of the exhibits that we've recovered thus far it's a total of four vehicles as well as a firearm that was used in a commission of crime, as well as cartridges that were picked up from that crime scene, crime scene that were linked with another crime scene where another shooting happened. The first vehicle, which is a Mercedes-Benz, was recovered on the 6th of March last year. And the second recovery was um, on the 22nd of April, and that was a firearm 
it was used to shoot and kill Mr. Forbes, specific. Uh, on the 23rd of June, the team identified after recovering these cartridges, they linked them together and were able to link that and confirm that they all involved, that firearm that was used was used in both medicines. A BMW was recovered on the 2nd of August. That's a vehicle that was trailing Mr. Forbes when he, he landed in, in KZN from the airport all the way to the hotel, all the way to the restaurant. A, a gray I-10 I vehicle was recovered on the 20th of October last year. And on the 23rd, the last vehicle, which is a Polo, was recovered as well. So all these recoveries uh, we were kept in police premises and uh, we processed them. The last two vehicles were hired from the owner uh, who rented these vehicles. So we took the statement from the owner. We, we, we've done all the necessary things, touch DNA and, and everything that we needed on those cars. And we've since released them to, to the owner because the owner just rented this vehicle out. So we've got all the evidence as the person who rented the cars. We have all the evidence and we're comfortable with, with, with that case. Timelines, as I've explained, on recoveries will also be uh, the same with arrests. The first arrest, or perhaps maybe before I explain the arrest, before the questions, the strategy that we employed was that after identifying these six, we're going to look for parallel cases that they are involved in. And we're going to arrest them on those cases and keep them in custody, but don't charge them on the case that we're investigating, the main case 85 uh, of, of, of uh, February last year which happened in Florida. So the reason, for, the reason for that is because we wanted to make sure that we get almost all the suspects, um, especially the organizer of the hit. So after identifying everyone else and we could realize that of the four, of the six suspects, at least four of them, we have parallel cases that we can link them with. So we started pursuing those parallel cases. One of them was the case that was talked about in the media where we went to Cape Town and we arrested someone in Cape Town. I'm sure you might have heard about it. Uh, we brought them back here. We charged a person on a parallel case, but the very same person was linked to this case, but we didn't charge him on the case. Um, so we went on with, with the rest of these arrests that we effected. The first one being the 22nd of April, where the organizer of firearms and vehicles, the person who was renting this out, uh, was arrested and was charged on, on uh, different cases as well as uh, most recently he's now been uh, uh, linked to this one of, of uh, case 85. On the 24th of October, that's when we effected our second arrest. Um, this was a spotter who was arrested also being involved in murder in another case uh, that, that happened except the one that you're talking about. On the 14th of December, we arrested the third suspect. Uh, and that suspect was also linked with another murder case that happened in Mazimtoti, including, uh, we, but we did not charge on this one that we are talking about today. On the 24th of February, maybe let me explain this one. After identifying the two suspects that you're looking for after chasing them the whole year, we found the house where they were hiding in Swaziland. So through information, we could spot them and we got informers to tell them and give us their photos and could confirm they heard about. So because we wanted to follow the law, and, and um, I like South African media because you tend to understand now the law, that you can't be talking about things that are still in court, especially when individuals have not been charged. So in this case, we approached the NPA, an affidavit was prepared, and we submitted through Interpol in order to request the authorities in Swaziland to help us catch these two. These two were arrested on Saturday morning in Swaziland for other cases, as I've spoken about, including the one that we're talking about. However, when we were talking about the other parallel cases, it's simple because we did not want to scare the very last two that we're still looking for. We had warrant of arrest for the last two, uh, which is the main guy that without him, this case would not have been strong. Uh, we needed to, to get that one behind bars. So after getting these two on Saturday, we're told that they found them. Uh, we did not communicate that as has been the case throughout, that you're not communicating. it. We did not communicate on Saturday. We did not communicate on, on Sunday. On Monday, we had on our position warrant of arrest of the last two. Unfortunately, the news broke out. 
So when the news broke out, the very last suspect we're looking for went on a run because the news were out and they realized that the people that they thought were hiding that side, they, they, they're now running away, that they've been arrested. So they, they ought to run. So the team worked 24 seven, uh, uh, 24 hours looking for them. Uh, and uh, that was from, from Monday until early hours of this morning when, when the, uh, the lawyers came to us and they said, okay, they're going to hand themselves over because we were hunting them and we had warrant of arrest. So this afternoon, they then uh, um, were arrested and, and charged on the same case 85. One of uh, these this suspects that are in custody, that, that will amount into a total of, of six suspects that we are we're looking for. Four of them are here, and, and two of them are, are not here yet because we're still busy with the legal process that you cannot uh, engage on now because it involves many, many parties. So that's basically all timelines in terms of what has happened from last year, uh, uh, April, up until now. Thanks so much. Thank you very much, General. Um, we're just going to open up the floor now to some questions. Uh, you know the rules. Please identify yourself as well as the media house that you represent. I'll start there at the back. That's ENCA. And I'll come here. So we'll take the first three questions, please. And also just direct yourself as to who you're asking the question to. Please also take in mind that the, the commissioner of the SAPS is also here, General Fani Masamula. Go ahead, uh, Jason. Okay. I'm Jason Tapia from ENCA. Perhaps just to start with uh, a few questions, but the first of it being, so I think you mentioned, General, that um, you know when this news broke as a result of the foreign media, that was when it really, in a sense, compromised um, your, your case and, and you know, the suspect that escaped. Is there any particular reason that it took that event, although it's chased away your suspect, but it took that event for us to finally get clarity on, on this matter? Is there any reason why, up until that point, the police was not able to give us that. In fact, so much so that the statement that was released yesterday or the day before gave us the impression that the two from SRT were not actually linked to to this case. So perhaps some clarity on that and, and the strategy that you employed there. The second is that you said a little while ago that um, it was the coordinator or the almost I think you used the word master, but when you say that, are you talking about the coordinator on the ground and not necessarily the mastermind, the person who paid the money. Can you clarify that point? And a follow-on to that question would be, how close are we then to actually finding out who paid for this hit? All right. Thank you, Justin. Uh, Kosukon? Yeah, um, Kosukon Ajuma from News24. I think I'm just going to follow the same line. Uh, any idea as to what could have been the motive for this particular crime? And the second question would be those two suspects that are not here yet, do you expect that by Thursday when the when the four appear in course that those ones would have arrived here and they would uh, appear with them? And just for clarity, um, and not to guess, we're talking about the debit magistrate's course, right? That's where they'll make their first course appearance. All right, we'll give you the clarity. Uh, one last question from the side, go ahead. Uh, Jay Porter from the ACBC, just touching from when my colleagues left off. Um, there's been a lot of speculation with regards to his circle, his inner circle, um, they had supper there at the Wish restaurant. Um, can we expect any more arrests that are made and also the people in the house, um, have they been linked to any of the suspects that have been arrested? All right, we'll take those first three questions, General and Minister. Okay, thanks so much, uh, Minister. The, the first question, why, why did we not speak about this until the news broke? As, as I said earlier, our strategy was that we're not going to talk about this, and I've said it many times. We will not talk about this until first we inform the family, and secondly, we're going to be going to court. That has been the strategy. So that's why we had to find a way of getting these people arrested and detained for parallel cases other than this main case, knowing for a fact that we have our fish in, 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 uh, being detained somewhere. And, and when his time is ready for this case and we have all the other suspects, then we'll book this one out and charge him on this case. That's basically has been the strategy. So unfortunately, we, we already were there. We were there on Saturday when we, when we requested the Swati authorities to execute those warrants. From the time they, they agreed, okay, we're going to execute, 
and they told us on Saturday that the warrants have been executed. Monday, we were in court to get the warrant of arrest for the last two. That was our plan. By the time the news broke, we already had warrants on our hands. And, and when we are about to discuss with the NPA in terms of, of course, when you arrest, we must go to court. So when we were discussing the NPA, the news broke. And, and by the time when we were going for the suspects, they were gone. Because it were, those were people that were not running away. They were always around. That's why we thought we were going to keep them last. So that's basically was our strategy. Unfortunately, uh, uh, the, the Swati, unfortunately, they, they release whatever that they release in the media, which I'm not going to talk about. As, as I said, it is in Swaziland. I'm glad that you all understand that you shouldn't be talking and bringing such documentation that are caught, that are in court, that must go out into the media. It's just disappointing. But basically, uh, it's not because we were fooling the public, but we wanted to make sure we don't compromise this and, and we follow the law. Um, the coordinator is the same mastermind. It's the person who put the team together, mobilize resources, and pay them after the job. Um, how long will it take to bring those uh, back into the country? It's a legal process that I cannot talk about. Um, it will take as long as the law allows it to take. Um, we'll be glad that they are still in custody. As I do. We hope they stay in custody. And, and by the time they get here, then we'll be able to, to present them to uh, before the NPA, before the court. Yes, indeed, there is a possibility of other suspects that might be added on the list, but our case is strong as is now with the six. So once you get the others, uh, you'll get to know about it, that there's one we added or two or three or whatever uh, numbers, as well as some exhibits that, exhibits <coughs> that you might still find as we investigate. But thank you. You're not very correct. When you say we have not been saying anything about it, we waited for Swazi, Swazi news or Swazi mail. You are not very correct. We have been talking about this thing. You just did not want to believe us. You felt all of you. When we say there are cars that are in the hands of the police, there are people that are linked in this case that are in custody. Maybe not emphasizing the point that for other things, because the brief is that you need to link them on, put your ducks in the row and all that. To say that South African police, he has said the time and again, next to you, Matt has said the time and again, we have said the time and again to say we are on the track of this case. We have said that time and again. And if you look when the information and the evidence was put, that is much. Uh, after the, the killer, the first person known and pick up on the 22nd April 2022. So cars found as given. So South African police, the only thing that one congratulates is to refuse the pressure that could have compromised the case should you have said we have found one, we have found one car and all that kind of stuff. See how they spread. Others in Swaziland or Eswatin and all that. But police, I think, they have tried under very trying conditions to take on board South Africans. The only thing South Africans, they want to see blood and the dead body to believe. So if you say somebody is dead and they don't show the dead body, so they don't believe. But the truth of the matter is that we have tried to brief up South Africans, including yesterday. Uh, yesterday, we said, well, we are waiting for proper proper briefing and all that. For instance, the, 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 the people, authorities of Eswati, they would have known how to brief us rather than going to the paper. They, they, they are members of SAPRO, they are members of Interpol and their neighbors and all that. For us, that would have been much better if they first followed that rather than making news. To us, uh, it's less news and more of an issue that we want us to tell about. All right, uh, let's take the second round of questions, please. Uh, we'll take follow-ups after. I think it's only fair. Let me just look at the side of the room. Okay, go ahead, brother. Thank you. Um, my name is Sandy Lemota. I work for the Sunday World newspaper. Just a quick one. Uh, there, there was a question actually from my colleague, so I just wanted to insist on it. Do, do we perhaps know the, the motive behind the, the murder of a gay? All right, we'll definitely ask that question. Uh, no, all right, go ahead. I just want clarity, um, just for clarity's sake. There's a coordinator, there's two shooters, there's two spotters, and um, I think.
think you also said, pardon me. And the two kapulas of the, the shooters. shooters. <laughs> yes, the two shooters. Um, you mentioned some of our fundamentalists, um, and then you said the coordinator is the mastermind. So the character that I want is, is this the person that ordered the hit? And do we know how much these people would hate? All right, the Rens and Saints there. That's a follow-up. Let me let me just see if there's a fresh hand, colleagues. Okay, go ahead. Are any of the arrested people, is there any of them who's a person of public uh, interest at the moment? All right, so a famous person. Yes. And I'm going to take your follow-up, Jason. Okay, well, initially I was going to ask about the price, but I think that will be answered. Uh, the other question was around that missing suspect. Uh, are we in a position generally to say, is it, uh, is it someone that you all have tabs on a continent that would be someone you would be going to catch soon, or is it a case of having to, to now start the process of hunting them down again? All right, we'll be fair to close the, okay, we'll have the last round, okay, colleagues? So on a personal level, your share of Kuzi Alpha Group was radio news. Um, I'm sure you guys have briefed the family before you briefed us, and what was the reaction from them? Okay, we'll, 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 we'll sneak that question in. Thank we'll you. have the last round, co colleagues, after this. Okay, okay. The, the, the briefing of the family, I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to answer that one, Minister. So, uh, don't want to get involved on that one. Um, the motive is not yet known. We suspect, but we're not going to talk about it. We suspect what could be the motive, but we're not going to say now what, what could be the reason. But uh, until there's any confession or, or, or whatever that comes out, then we'll be able to know. We know how much each received, how much they were paid, but we're not going to divulge it because it's part of the case. What much? <laughs> is there any famous suspect amongst the group? I don't know what is described as being famous. So it's going to be difficult for me to say this one is famous or not. So they're all human beings and they're all South African citizens, so they're all important. I'll leave it there. Um, missing suspect or suspects, more than one. I said any other suspect, any other individual might be added on, on, this, uh, on this case if the investigation um, leads us into that. So we, we, the team is still working, so we hope that whoever that we need to add on the chart, we will add on the chart. Whether we are chasing that person or we are not chasing that person uh, for now, or maybe chase later, we might still add people if need be. The investigation doesn't end yet. Thanks much. Well, I'm impeccably informed that the family has been informed. Uh, that's the, that's, that's that. Uh, actually, the, I received information that is informed when I was ready to inform the family that it has been, the family has been uh, informed. Uh, I think the oldest of these guys is 36. Yeah, that's the oldest out of the whole group. So, it's 36. It's not very, it's not very old group of, of people, all that. Do the motive, so it's all a call. So it's all a call. And we, we are all interested, really, to know. Because it's very clear. It was not just somebody that woke up in the morning and got angry. Uh, you can see the build up and all that coordinating uh, the the money. Uh, yeah, they got money. All of them they were paid, but not much. But not, not much. much. But not <laughs> much. Yeah, uh, really not. The life of a person cannot have anything enough. But uh, you would think that is such a profile person. Yeah. Uh, you really you, you, you think that. Uh, I, I don't know what a life of person. I don't know if you kid me how much you 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 demand on on that. But uh, across the board, there will be no money enough for the life of person. But uh, as as people say, that is, some animals are more equal than others. You'd expect that uh, uh, that, that money would be uh, real. So not. Okay, uh, colleagues. We are taking the last round. Um, I'll see if we have any fresh hands first, and then we'll take follow-ups. So it looks like it's it's follow-ups. All right, go ahead. 
been a year-long investigation. Um, I just want to know, from the investigation, was this the first assassination attempt? Um, through the thorough investigation, has there been any information that has come before that perhaps suggests that they have tried to attempt elsewhere? Just to be clear, a, a first attempt on, on, on who? On the human body. Super. All right. Okay. What's going on? Um, it sounds like a general question, but I, I feel that I need to ask it. You have taken almost a year uh, to complete this, this investigation, or at least to bring them to court. Yes. Uh, you've been under pressure as the police uh, from the public to come to this point, and congratulations for that point. But the question I have is, are you really confident that after spending so much time gathering so many people that this would result in real conviction. Okay. Um, I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to take the in your room and then ENCA. Go ahead. Me again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do we define mastermind as a person who ordered the hit? That's what we just want to clarify. All right. And then the last but not least, dissent. Okay. So I just want to clarify a point. We, we, we're talking about, I think it's common cause now that it was hit. Mm -hmm. But what I just want to establish is was this specifically targeted only to AKA, towards AKA, or, and was Sevelo hit, you know, just as a consequence, or was he also part of those that were targeted? Thank you. All right, colleagues, uh, that is the final round. I'm going to ask the general to take us through those questions, and then we we'll keep it with further. Okay, thank you so much. Um, we're not aware in SAP, SAPS case at end is not aware of any attempt in the past on, on, on the life of the deceased. Uh, it might have happened in other parts of the country, but not in case at end. We don't have any records of such. There was never a case registered before. Yes, I have said before and up until Monday when I issued a clip that once we have arrested everyone that we need and we've discussed the case with the NPA and NPA is happy with the case, and they are happy to present the case in court, we will then brief the South Africans through the media. What we are doing today is exactly that. We were not going to call you and brief you if we're not happy about the evidence together with the NPA. So we are happy together with the NPA. That's why we're briefing you today. Uh, of course, things happen in court, and, and there's lawyers, and there's, you know, they will always twist and turn things. The case might take longer than uh, perhaps we might all want it to take but that will be left to the court. The master versus the hit order. I, I must indicate again, of the six, we have someone that coordinated the whole operation. And that's a person who mobilized all these resources and people. That's a person who paid them after the job. So whether did he get an instruction from elsewhere, we cannot say that, because we don't have that evidence. At least we know that he's the one that organized everything whether he organized it under the instruction of someone else, it, it remains to be seen through the investigation. We might still go higher than that one. But for now, we're happy that if we go higher, we might be looking for one person or another one on top of that one. But this one is commanding the forces that were operating on the day. So that's why, that's why we, we're comfortable with him. So in terms of English, what is the right terminology? Um, Maybe see bigger than that. Yeah, I'm TTA. So who was the main target? From my investigation, it became clear that Mr. Forbes was the main target. He's the one that was followed from the airport. He's the one that was followed the hotel. He's the one that was spotted inside the restaurant. And the plan was not to shoot him the manner they did. They were going to shoot him in the vehicle. But because he stood longer outside greeting his friend, and those, those uh, 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 hitmen did not want to wait. That's why they, they came for him. So the, the second victim, it was by coincidence that he, he, was shoot, he was shot. As I'm sure you'll realize, the second shooter was at quite a distance away from him when, when, he, when he got shot. So um, we, we do believe that the plan was for Mr. Forbes. <coughs> Thanks so much. I do want to emphasize the point that we are happy about sitting there listening and all that. Uh, for the NPA to say, take it to court, uh, we do the investigation, post to the investigation, and we put it, and the NPA take, take to court. Uh, time must tell, but uh, absolutely there is a zero hesitation from the investi investigators, those that uh, is a good team, everyone has met, 
presentation and all that kind of stuff. Modisa, umti tiyeli lo. Uba bizebo unki. Uba choleli zinto zokseben zabo unki. Uba koke la bo unki. They all get they all get equal share by the way. Bo unki ba choli mali linga nae. Bo unki all that. But I do agree with the question. Is he the last man? I'm sure the question asked by Duma and the SAPC, if that is the last, that investigation that continues, uh, will tell us the story that is in detail the real man, or is the man beyond the man, or is the man or the woman beyond the man. But for now, it does look like he did almost everything. Motive and time will tell us investigation going forward will tell us. Uh, we have been assured about the seventh person. It could not be tomorrow. It could not be the day after tomorrow. But indeed, it will be in the hands of the police. Thanks. Thank you so much, Minister. Colleagues, you have been asking what court that is going to be. Can we please advise you uh, closer to the time? But it is definitely going to be on Thursday, General. On Thursday, yeah. On Thursday. We will advise you as to which court exactly the suspects are going to be appearing. And uh, thank you so much for availing yourself tonight. Have a fantastic evening, further. It's not to date. Not to date.